Hello guys, it's Alright Turtles, and before I start, I just wanna say something. Uh, I'm gonna do a giveaway of Cinema 4D R13. Uh, so thumbs up this video. If this video gets 20 thumbs up, uh, everybody's gonna be able to download this uh, program. So please, um, please thumbs up the video. If it gets 20 likes, uh, I will release Cinema 4D R13 and it'll be on my website so that I don't get a strike so it's just gonna be on my website um, so yeah for now we're just gonna do tutorials in board DR12 and this is basically uh, a tutorial on global illumination and ambient occlusion uh, which some people have trouble with they don't know how people make their uh, scenes or their intros look so realistic um, yeah so here I am to teach you if you don't know if you're my longtime subscriber you probably know and if you've been watching my tutorials regularly you probably know how to use this but this tutorial is for people who don't know so this is the basics okay so let's create a plane yes let's Actually, maybe we'll create a floor. Um, I don't know. Yeah, let's just create a floor like that. Uh, let's create a material. Make this material white. And put it on the floor. Um, why is it? It's kind of grayish. Increase the brightness to 132. Okay, and create a sky. So go to this light icon and sky, then drag the same material over onto the sky. Okay, now uh, duplicate the plane, so select it, control C, control V, and place it above the first plane and then dra and then create a new material double look on it uh, change it to white then add luminance and keep that at white then add that to the plane above okay and now let's um, let's add ambient occlusion and global illumination to this so go to render settings effect ambient occlusion global illumination and put the ear dense catch stochastic samples to low record density to low and let's render this okay so now we got everything white just white setup now let's add a text so um yeah, just go to mo graph mo text Okay, um, I don't know if we should add some effects to this, but yeah, let's let's add some effects. Um, let's add some caps. Fill it cap, fill it cap. Radius, I like to keep it at two. Okay, drag this a little bit over, and let's render this. As you can see, it's got the shadow. Uh, it's got the soft, soft shadowing. So you got like dark in some places and light and medium in other places. So it's really it's like real life. That what that's what ambient occlusion gives us. Really great effect. Um, let's if we uh, take away ambient occlusion. Then let's see see what's gonna happen. It's gonna it looks really fake. It looks like you know bad rendering, no shadows. That's what they add in the video games now. If you didn't know, that's how they made them look that good, is with shadows. So you can you can definitely tell the difference uh, between. 
between that and that and if we uh, take away global illumination and render this you can definitely tell that it's uh, you know <laughs> it's not like real light lighting not like real life lighting so you, you can't have an object that glows uh, you ha you can't have that light kind of over overlap the whole you know the whole scene like in real life the light would overlap like if you get a room that's dark you turn on the light and automatically it goes light and the way the light goes on to objects it changes their colors and it changes their brightness and here without low illumination every object stays keeps the same color so if we add it then we automatically get realistic lighting and uh, that was pretty much it for this tutorial I hope it was useful because I know that I didn't know this when I was a beginner and I consider beginners too when I make my tutorials because you know sometimes it must might be tough uh, you know creating intros in this program so this is just a beginner tutorial on how to how to kind of make your intros look more professional so thank you for watching and see you next time